What's up everybody, it's Bob here from the Tuning School. Welcome back to our On the Dyno series. Today we're gonna to talk about Boost Control 101. Get it under control, people. All right, so on today's video, we're gonna talk about boost controls for turbos and superchargers. That's right, I said you can control a supercharger's boost. So we're gonna go straight away to our old school, the Gen X of turbo boost controllers, the TC1 from Daytona Sensors. That's right, we used to use this baby all the time. Now, obviously guys, on a turbo, you have to control the boost. And we talk a little bit about what normal boost levels are for every engine. So let's talk about it. For GMs, LSs, and LTEs on pump gas, you can normally get away with about seven or eight pounds of boost on pump gas before you get to too much of a knock situation. For your Hemis, unfortunately, you do tend to run a little bit less boost on those in their stock configuration because the pistons tend to not be as happy as the others. So typically about six is all you're gonna wanna run on a Hemi, maybe six pounds of boost on pump gas before you get into the danger zone. And our Coyote friends can run about double that. That's right, they can run about 10, 12 pounds of boost on pump gas before they start to run into issues. So with a turbo, it's obvious you have to control it, otherwise the turbo just speeds up from the exhaust gas flow and goes bananas and you get all the boost. But with a supercharger, you now have some options. We like the Atlas Boost Controller. The Atlas Boost Controller is a fully closed loop system. It looks at map sensors before and after the throttle body to bring the boost in when you want it, not when it wants to give it to you, which is the primary complaint of everybody with a positive displacement supercharger. It could be a Whipple, it could be a Magnuson, it could be whatever it is. When you put that on your car, it has a vacuum actuator that bypasses and gives you boost whenever the vacuum goes away. You have no control over it. So we always say, get yourself a good boost controller. I don't care if you have a supercharger or a turbo, you're gonna need it. So if you don't want your boost to cause Hemi level problems of explosions here, you're gonna need to get yourself a boost controller. Always go look and see what the right one is for your application. I recommend going over to atlasboostcontroller.com. Thanks for watching.